It doesn't matter how big they are, they could be someone as big as Brock Lesnar, Eddie Hall, Tyson Fury. If you hit someone like this and they're not expecting it, the fight will be over like that in seconds. And I'm not just going to tell you how to end a fight in seconds, I'm going to show you. I'm going to demo on this guy right here exactly how to end it. And one method you might have seen that went viral on YouTube was when a guy takes all his clothes off and runs after people. I guess that's one way you could win a fight, but I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about real self-defense. This is a technique I use to knock out multiple people on my way to winning an Olympic medal and soon I'm going to show you this. But you need to know, I don't recommend street fighting. I think it's stupid. The bigger man will always walk away. But if someone is coming onto you and trying to have a fight and you can't get out of the way and you've got to stand and have a fight with them, you need to know what to do. The first thing I would do because I know how to fight is punch them as hard as I can in the solar plexus right here. This is where the ribs come together. And if you've ever been hit there, you'll know the damage it will do. It hurts so much the fight will be over. And as well, I know it's not gonna do serious damage like a punch in the face might do. So the technique of doing this to be able to end the fight in seconds. One thing you don't wanna be doing is standing square on like this. If you're in this position here, if someone punches you or even pushes you, you're gonna fall over. And the last thing you wanna do if you're trying to defend yourself in a street fight is fall over and be on the floor. So what you're gonna do instead, you're gonna bring your dominant foot back. For me, it's my right foot because I'm right-handed. I'm gonna bring that foot back and now I'm in a boxing stance position. And then when I'm in this position, I'm gonna put my hands up here and see, you know, I do wanna fight. This is going to catch him off guard and make him think that he's a bigger guy. I've said I don't want to fight. That's when I'm going to let that punch go and it'll look like this. I don't want to fight. That's it. Doesn't matter the size. If you hit me like that, having 106 fights in my career, I'm done. I'm on the floor. And then once you're on the floor, you can get out of there and you're safe. And if you're not in a position to do that, the other thing you can do is from here, take your back foot back and I'll always put your hands up there and say, you know, I don't want to fight. And we're going to open palm slap. This right here can end the fight in seconds and help you protect yourself. Like you might have seen, this is actually a sport now, the open palm slap. It's not going to do damage like a punch would, but it's going to stun them and and then you can get out of there and get out of danger. And it'll look like this. I don't want to fight. Open palm stop again. That's it, done, fight's over, get out of there. And the other one, if it's too close and you can't slap, you can't punch to the body. And we're here like this, where you might have seen this in fights before, where the bully gets up and he's in your face like this. And he might even have all the The simple thing to do here, take that little step back, lean your body back to get a little bit of space. And then from there, stick the nut on him with your forehead, straighten his nose, boom, the damage is done, it's over. But to be able to do this, it's always great to learn how to throw a punch. That's why I created this video right here, showing you exactly how to throw a punch. Click here and watch this next.